To me, the that girl trend represents striving towards becoming the best version of yourself, and this looks different for everyone. Whether it's waking up earlier, working out, or trying healthy recipes, there are always ways we can improve our lifestyles. So in this video, I challenged myself to be that girl that we see on Pinterest who seems like they have their life together and has the perfect routine. But keep in mind, this is definitely not something I do every day. I love this trend though because it motivates and inspires me to work on becoming my better self. close to being sunrise yet. I don't even know when I was up this early last. It feels really good, but it was so hard to get up. Like I set multiple alarms and when the first one went off, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I have to get up right now. I am so excited to see how today goes. Literally all last night, I was scrolling through my That Girl Pinterest board to give me inspiration to get up this early. <laughs> My mornings are my most slowest, unproductive times of the day. I'm usually so tired. I like to take them really slow, but today we're gonna do that differently. I made my coffee right away because honestly, I just wanna get the day started. Usually I give myself like 30 minutes to warm up to the day myself and then I'll make my coffee, but it just sounded too good right now and it's warm. I also put on these under eye masks. These are gonna be essential, especially today for my dark circles. So usually every morning after I make my coffee, I sit down on the couch and watch a show but today instead of turning on the TV I'm gonna read I feel like that is just such a better alternative to start the day so I just got this book I haven't started it it's called the power of now I think it's a very spiritual personal growth book um, so I am gonna start this this morning I already feel very out of my element <laughs> The sun is rising and my car is frozen. It is actually so cold. One of the things that really got me through this morning was staying warm because as soon as I feel that freezing morning air, I'm like, there's no way. I'm going back in bed where it's warm. I don't wanna do this. So I had my heater on when I was getting ready. I had on a sweatshirt and I was so close to going out right now in sweatpants. But I decided no, I'm gonna change into my jeans. And I'm actually so glad I did because it makes me feel like more put together, more ready for the day, and like I need to be up. Like the sun just rose and I already have on jeans. I feel very ready for today. So I grabbed my grocery bags and right now I am headed over to the grocery store. I have a list of things I need to get. I honestly am not a huge fan of the grocery store so I like to make it as quick as possible. So that's what we're doing right now. what I picked out for today a lot of fresh produce it was so fun like in the vegetable section because there was so much stuff I wanted to get I'm gonna be cooking all three meals today so I wanted to get a bunch of vegetables so we got asparagus potatoes zucchini avocados onion and then I picked out tomatoes lemon bananas strawberries and I got fresh basil which I've been wanting to get for so long I also got some pre-cooked chicken pasta bread oat milk and we needed paper towels I am so excited Excited though. Can't wait to show you guys all the meals I'm gonna make today. So 
here is what my breakfast is looking like this morning. It was so simple and it looks so good. Look at all the colors. Like I am so proud of myself. To be completely honest, I usually don't eat breakfast, especially not right after I wake up. I just feel nauseous usually in the morning and it usually takes me a while to even make my coffee and drink that. So having a full breakfast like this is kind of rare for me, but this looks so good and I was actually starving walking around the grocery store. I think that's what made it so easy to buy all this food because I was starving. So I was like, oh, I want that, I want that. So this morning I made avocado toast, tomatoes, and then I made scrambled eggs. And I am not a scrambled eggs girl. I like over easy eggs always, but it sounded kind of good. Also just wanted to point out, I've been up for three hours and this is my first time checking my phone. Usually the first thing I do when I wake up is go on my phone and scroll for a little bit. And I feel like that's what keeps me in bed for so long sometimes. So it actually feels really good to not have checked my phone yet today. And I feel like that kept me very productive. <laughs> to tell you guys I changed into this outfit I'm wearing this set it's like this black sports bra shorts and then this little like button-up long sleeve but I put on my sweatpants because it's so cold um, I'm not a fan of winter I miss summer so much I miss it being warm but we're getting through the winter and I'm really trying to make the most of it I'm trying to stay cozy if I'm being completely honest I am starting to feel so tired I feel like this is usually the point like I did so much this morning that now my not sleeping in is catching up to me a little bit so I did a couple things around the house to get myself back on track I did my laundry and I just took out the trash two things I've been putting off but now we're back on schedule and I also totally forgot about this so the other day I went to my mailbox and I got this package so in here I love the packaging these are called productivity shots I've never seen these before they're from the brand magic mind so I am gonna try my first one in this video and we'll see how it goes I don't want to recommend anything until I try it but I feel like this is literally the perfect video to do this in so there's a ton of them look how cute so basically these are for focus energy and less stress perfect that's a recipe for success if you ask me drink daily for a sharper mind steady energy and less stress so we are gonna try one I am so excited let's try these out and see how they work I honestly never take shots like these the only shots I take look very different or espresso shots so do you take this like a shot or do you sip it I think you take it like a shot um, it wasn't the most enjoyable experience, but it didn't taste awful. It was just like so strong. Like I never really do this on my channel where I try stuff like this. Usually when I talk about any product or anything that's sent to me, I try it off camera and then I tell you guys about it on camera. This is not sponsored by the way, but I just thought these were perfect for today's video. So I was like, I need to try these. Honestly, for me, when it comes to working out, I used to be so motivated. I would go to the gym all the time, like every single day. I honestly just really loved it. But for the past over a year now, I have just not had that motivation at all anymore. Like the thing is, I don't even wanna go. It's not even like I'm not motivated. I just really don't care. <laughs> like I don't wanna go, I don't really care to go. And maybe eventually I'll get that motivation back and I'll really enjoy working out again. I like moving around. I like being physically active, but I just feel like at the gym, it's not the most exciting to me anymore. I used to love it. I recently went to my first Pilates class and I actually enjoyed that so much. I put it in one of my past videos. It was so much fun. It was enjoyable. I really liked it. The whole class went by really fast and it was a great workout. Out, I was so sore the next day actually the next couple days so I think that's more of something I want to do I tried to get a Pilates class scheduled in time for this video but it didn't happen
happen. So moving forward, I do want to do that regularly, but today, unfortunately, it will not be happening. So I got my gym clothes out and we're going to give it a try today to go back over to the gym because the thing is, if I stay home and don't go to the gym, I might regret not going. But if I just go to the gym, I've never had the regret when I get there that I went and we're just going to see how it goes. So I have on my all Lululemon outfit. I did not plan this, but as I was getting dressed, I was like, oh my God, I have my leggings, sports bra, and then this long sleeve top. I also have my water bottle. <laughs> I really love Lululemon. I've shopped there for a long time. I feel like dressing cute and wearing clothes that make me feel confident makes me excited to work out. So I have my headphones too, and they are so cute and pink. I made it back from the gym. It was honestly a really good workout. I was there for a while. It was one of the craziest things because while I was in the gym, I realized this is the time I usually wake up at. It was just crazy to think about how much of a day I've already had. And on a daily basis, I miss all of that because I'm asleep. But I feel like when I'm gonna wake up early, like 5.30 a.m., it has to be for a reason. Like I'm gonna be productive. And a lot of the time, if I choose to sleep in and stay up later, I'm not gonna be as productive in those extra hours at night versus the extra hours in the morning because I could stay up late and I'm already awake but I feel like I'm way more productive when I wake up to do those things because I don't want to be up and I had to force myself awake so there has to be a, like a good reason for me to stay awake and keep being productive and keep going I don't know if that makes sense so I feel like doing this video showed me like I had things lined up in the morning to get done so that I could keep myself going and keep myself awake so now that we're getting towards the afternoon I feel like I've done so much stuff today and it's not late at all like I keep checking the time and I'm like oh my god it should be like five o'clock like the sun's setting soon just crazy so anyway I'm back from the gym I put my clothes in the dryer so that's what that sound is I am gonna make a smoothie I'm obsessed with smoothies I hate the cleanup though like I hate getting out the blender and then having to wash that but since I went to the grocery store this morning I got a bunch of fruit and really delish things to put in here so I'm gonna get the setup ready so excited! So I am going with my favorite, which is a strawberry banana smoothie, and I'm gonna put in the rest of the avocado that I had this morning. I also love oat milk, so we're going with this, and then some ice, and probably a little water. These are huge! I tried to make it cute and put a strawberry on top, but it all fell in. I am gonna drink my smoothie, and I am also gonna start on making some lunch. I don't know, I'm getting pretty hungry. of this this came out so good and it looks amazing I wasn't making this to make it look cute or aesthetic like as you can tell by the smoothie this does not look cute like it's literally beige and same thing with this bowl I literally was just thinking of all the ingredients that I would want on like a burrito bowl but I replaced the rice with pasta and it came out looking so cute like all the colors it looks so healthy I also put lemon on it too like if I'm being a hundred percent honest when it comes to food I am so lazy I am NOT a fan of cooking or baking I hate doing the dishes and when I get hungry I just want something super convenient it's very rare that I'm in the cooking mood but so far today I I'm doing such a good job. So I went with pasta and then I have chicken, avocado, onions, tomatoes, and basil. I also drizzled some lemon on top and put salt and pepper. That is the perfect bite. Wow. 
That was so good. This was so easy to put together and it came out so good. I think the other thing with cooking and preparing your food is you appreciate it so much more when you eat it. Like I know if I went out and bought this, I'd be like, oh, it's okay, like it's pretty good. But me sitting here and putting all of the ingredients together and getting everything prepared makes this taste so much better. I feel like all day today I've been able to have this amazing routine since I got up early, but today is another work day. I have a lot of stuff to get done. So now that I had like the most amazing morning, I did so much stuff and I was able to spend a lot of extra time on myself. Now it is time to get back into my regular routine. I am gonna start importing all my files to my laptop so I can start editing my video. I have a sponsorship to edit. I have a couple thumbnails to plan out. So I put on my sweatpants. I just put them on over my legs. Leggings. I heard the doorbell ring and I just got this package. I know exactly what it is. I ordered this from Ikea because the last couple times I've gone in-person shopping there, this was sold out, but it was available online. So, so I ordered it. I am so excited for this. Oh my gosh. So this is my room. I literally have not taken you guys in here at all because it's so plain. Like I haven't decorated. There's a couple things on my bedside table, but not really. I am probably gonna decorate and organize this room last just because I'm only in here when I go to sleep and wake up. So priority goes to the other rooms. But as you guys see in pretty much every video, I have this huge ball light upstairs. I'm obsessed with it and I have a color change bulb and I was like I want this light in every single room so I found this one at Ikea which looks exactly like the one upstairs but it's much smaller and perfect for a tabletop so I ordered it I ordered a color changing light bulb but just like the one upstairs It is about to be dark out. I just loaded the dishwasher. I also lit this candle. It's looking so good in here. I just wanted to clean up and finish everything in the kitchen. It is 5.30 now. You couldn't really see the sunset tonight because it was so foggy today. Last night, in order to wake up at 5.30, I went to sleep at 10.30 to get seven hours of sleep. So I think that's what I'm gonna do again tonight. I don't think tomorrow I'm waking up at 5.30 again, but I definitely wanna wake up earlier than before and use today to like adjust my sleep schedule. So my goal for tomorrow Tomorrow is to wake up at 7, which I feel like is totally doable. It's still really early, but that's definitely better than 5.30. Here is the recent nighttime skincare routine. I've been changing it up a lot because I'm trying a couple new products. Usually I keep it pretty simple. I always wash my face to wash off all my makeup and I really like using toner pads so that I know I'm getting all the makeup off. A good night cream or moisturizer, maybe a couple serums and my favorite Vaseline for my lips. Also love this lavender lotion before I go to sleep. It smells so good. So that is it for today, but before I end this video, I really wanted to give my final thoughts on this trend. At first, when I started hearing about this trend a couple years ago, I was kind of skeptical because I was like, felt like it was one of those trends just for social media, like to be super productive and aesthetic just to take pictures of it and post it. I didn't really feel like this trend was something that I would be doing off camera, but I think I was very wrong about that. As you guys know, I love romanticizing my life and I'm always trying to make things more fun than they actually are by making them feel aesthetic and fun and I romanticize my life like that a lot on camera but I also do it so much off camera and that's why I feel like I talk about it all the time in my videos because it actually works for me so when I was filming this video about being that girl that's kind of the mentality I had I wasn't trying to make it all super aesthetic I honestly just wanted to try to be as productive as possible and get things done and implement all of these small habits into my routine so that 
I could really transform my day into the most productive possible and it worked so well for me. I think an important message to take away from this video though is that all of those habits are going to look different for everyone. Everyone has different schedules, everyone has different interests and lifestyles, so I think just making your routine your own and literally just adding things that you like to do or that would make you happy is how to go about this lifestyle. So for me, I'm usually not a morning person, but I really enjoyed getting up early. I loved being awake when it was dark out still. There was something about that that was so refreshing and calming and waking up early and following my alarm, that was my first decision of the day, which made the rest of my day already feel super accomplished. Like the entire day, no matter how productive I was every second, I was like, you know what? I got up, it was dark out, it was 5.30. So finding those things for you, I think is how you're gonna get the most out of your routine. And my last point that I wanted to make is that although I was so productive and I felt so good filming this entire video, I know that this is not a realistic routine for my everyday life, but I kind of like that. And I decided after doing this for the day, I liked it so much that I definitely wanna implement this through my life. So I think like once a week, I'm gonna have a weekly reset day where I follow this daily schedule, waking up early, getting everything done, and then starting over for the next week. I feel like that's another great way for me personally to get something out of this that girl trend. So anyway, I really hope this video motivated you guys or inspired you to figure out how you want to personalize your routine. I had so much fun filming this video. This is actually my favorite video I've done on my channel in so long. I love you all so much. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Mwah.